little car park spot, eh? All right, chaps, welcome to another video. In 4K, we're testing the 4Ks, see what we think to it. All right, I've had the technology on my cameras for a while, but never the computer, but I've got the computer now. So we're gonna try a 4K video. Anyway, what am I doing today? I'm testing out some two-stroke go-karts. You've not heard me talk about go-karts before. I've never really done anything with it. The first time I went go-karting was when I was at the Nürburgring on the electric ones about five years ago or something. And I've never really been into it since then. You know, you follow your mates, don't you? Well, last year, couple of lads well they got into go-karting a bit so I did a bit of it with them four stroke indoor stuff and yeah it was all right enjoyed it now Kevin whose birthday it is has been at us all the time yapping at his heels saying come down and try these two strokes at Daytona in Milton Keynes right now I love a two stroke used to have a scooter back in the obo days love a two stroke right love the smell love the sound and everything so yeah I'm looking forward to trying it out and I thought Right, we'd have a little video today, a 4K camera test. Got my GoPro here as well. So hopefully I can find a lid with a mount on it because uh, I had a little visor trouble with my helmet and I couldn't bring my helmet. So I need to borrow a helmet, but hopefully I can get one for my big fat head and also one that's got a GoPro mount on it. So we're down here today anyway. Kevin got some kind of birthday discount or something, so jumped on that train. We've got a 15 minute qualifying run and then we've got a 40 minute race in these go-karts. Now I've put some of my gear on. Uh, this is the first time I've gone go-karting with any gear because I don't want to turn up like I know what I'm doing. It's difficult go-karting, I don't know if any of you have done it. There are definitely, you know, the, the baseline skills between driving a car fast and a go-karting fast. It's, it's similar, right? But I think there are some, some key differences and, you know, it's very technical, it's very... Uh, well, the carts that I've been driving have been quite low power four stroke things, so you make a mistake in them and you're paying for it because you can't really get the speed back up, not especially when you're carrying around, you know, Yorkshire lump and all that. So, anyway, we're going to try these two stroke ones out. So, that's today's video. But yeah, I'm going to go in and get signed on now. So, I'll see you on the other side. I'll take you out in the cart with me, hopefully, and then we'll have a bit of a synopsis afterwards in 4K. Look at the pixels. Yeah. All right, I'll catch you in a bit. Thank you, kind sir. Hands.
just firing out of left corners, mate. It's gonna cut out or something. Okay, yeah, we can tow you out. Yeah. That's kind of small. Yikes. Happy birthday, Kevin. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Jerry Jackson. Tiff does karting. <laughs> I'm proper fucked. Proper fucked. Right, we're all done. Let me just say, I'm in a lot of pain. But I had a very good time. Very different to the bits of karting that I've done myself. Just done some indoor stuff where you go like 15 minutes at a time on these four strokes things. So they're a lot slower carts and you're going for a lot less time but my body is knackered. My hands and my lower back, the left part of my lower back, from around 15 minutes in, probably, um, I kept looking at the clock and seeing how long I had left and thinking, fuck, I was close, or should I say, my body was telling me to stop. I think I'm gonna be in a lot of pain tomorrow anyway. My body was saying, just pull over, you're not made for this, you know. <laughs> I don't even know how you'd train for it. How would you train for that? So the event itself, qualifying, um, obviously that was me trying to get used to the car. I qualified all right. I was in the top half of people. Um, I think there was about, I can't remember how many people were out there. There's quite quite a few people out there, but I qualified okay-ish, but then I, um, I dropped back quite quick and then I started having a problem with the car. And uh, when I was coming out of left-hand corners, which on an anti-clockwise track is, is quite a many, uh, the cart the was spluttering. Uh, any kind of low speed stuff really, it was really struggling to come on song. And I was thinking, well, it's a two stroke, you know, it just wants to be um, wants to be up there, doesn't it? So I thought it was just me driving it wrong. So I kept going round, but it was, uh, it was getting worse and getting worse. So yeah, I ended up pulling in the pits. I don't know what position I was in. I ended up pulling in the pits and swapping the car. And um, yeah, just a quick look on my GoPro as well, and I'm sorry for the camera angle, that's terrible, isn't it? Um, that was a hash job. I was grateful that I got to record something at least. Hopefully I've got some action that I showed you, but yeah, it was pretty wild. I tried to turn the GPS on the GoPro as well, so we'll see how that is. It's not the best, but we'll see if it got any of the speeds, because it felt like we were going pretty fast. I don't know how fast did it feel we were going. They say maximum 70 mile an hour. I don't think we're anywhere near that. Maybe about 50. I think we might have got to about 50 mile an hour. But um, yeah, pretty wild, really good fun. Uh, the second car that I got was night and day difference. It was just singing a lot better. Yeah, it was really good, really enjoyed myself. 
So the only issue really was was me then. I swapped the car and it was just myself. I just started to fatigue so quickly and it was like a cliff. You know, my hands, I, was, I couldn't hold myself in properly. Uh, when we're racing cars, obviously we're strapped in. I've got, I've got a six point harness in my car. So I'm well in there in the seat and all I'm doing is turning the wheel and you know, moving my hands and all that. And with the car, when it's going around corners and everything, you know, you move with it, where in the car, obviously, you're out in the elements and you've got to suspend yourself. It's a bit like riding a motorbike, I guess, isn't it? And yeah, I really struggled with that. I really struggled to keep myself in. And then towards the end of the race, at like the last 20 minutes or so, I was just clinging on, really, for, for, for dear life. And it, there's a couple of times where I made mistakes where I was just, just, yeah, just struggling, like really struggling. Um, overall, in the race, I think I finished Near, near, the, near the end obviously, I was near the bottom, I can't remember what it was, but I got a 69 second lap and I looked at some of the lap times before I come in and I thought anything under a minute 10 and anything under 70 seconds I thought I'll be alright for my first time out and yeah, it was good. So I don't know if I'll be coming here again because it's pretty far away from me, as you can imagine. I'm down south in the concrete jungle and closer to London than home here, so that's mad isn't it that. But anyway, 4K camera test. I know I messed up the GoPro angle, so Apologies for that, but I'm going to try and do this as like a standard now, 4K. See how we get on. Just 30 frames. I'm not going to bother with 60, I don't think. We're only doing YouTube videos. How, how many frames do you really want? Uh, you've got the pixels now. You can't have the frames as well. I might try a 60 in the future. I, just, I was worried that my GoPro wouldn't get to the end, but it did it no problem. Obviously, when you're recording 4K video, you're taking in more data, it's going to use more energy isn't it, it's going to use more battery life it's going to consume more of the battery when you're running 4k and same for this camera as well so but the benefits are when I'm in the unit or when I'm doing stuff if I record in 4k and if I need to zoom in on something then it'll be a lot clearer and I could even still export these in 1080 although I'm going to do this one in 4k I could still export them in, in 1080 and just like take the bit of the screen out which makes sense so yeah we're in the future at last there's even an 8K now, isn't there, and stuff, but we're, we're on the 4Ks now, so... Yeah, that's my karting experience. Difficult, I recommend it. Paul had an issue with his kart as well, so... I mean, you know, we're just here for a laugh, but it seemed that... I mean, a two-stroke is always going to be more temperamental and require a bit more maintenance, in it? So, uh, out of our group, half of us, there's four of us, two of us had to swap as carts during the race, so... You know, but I had a really good time regardless. I'm definitely going to pay the price for the fun tomorrow. And I think if I was going to come again, if you're going to come for your first time, definitely just do 20 minutes because 40 minutes is it's too it's too much if you're not used to it. I'm I'm not feeling good now. My back and my hands, like my grip strength. I always thought my grip strength was all right. You know, in the, on the barbells and all that stuff. You know, it wasn't too bad, but. My grip on the car then, I was nowhere. These keyboard hands, you know, I'm an office bank banker. I'm an office wanker, so, you know, all I'm doing is typing all day, so I, I must have lost some of my grip strength. I need to get back on the barbells or something, but really hard. But yeah, recommended, so hope you've enjoyed the video. Patreons, thank you. I've got to do some workings now. Is that the best work wallpaper you've ever seen, or nah? Of course it is. Right, ta-ta for now, TTFN.